It's very popular. It's it's at least probably about a third third of all the snowballs on a given day. It starts out with bananas and brown sugar. I'm gonna add some butter. Just a little butter, maybe a little more butter. And we're gonna use our house-made vanilla bean syrup. There we go. So I think we're ready to make our snowball now. This machine was made in 1939 by my grandfather, Ernest Hansen. The man came around with, um, with basically a block of ice and a kitchen door a planer. And he would plane the ice, shaving it. But it was, it was in the man's hands and it was, it was dirty. And so my grandfather took one look at that and said, I think I can build something better. And so he set to work at making this machine. Um, after he figured out it would work and work pretty well, my grandmother said that it was too good to leave at home. So she started making her snowballs then on her front porch and selling them for two pennies. The going rate at the time was one cent. And people would ask, well, why is your snowball so expensive? And she said because her product was better because it wasn't touched by hand. Today we're gonna to make it with cream of ice cream, which is our uh, probably our most popular flavor with Bananas Foster. And it tastes like a country vanilla, old-fashioned ice cream. Uh, it's bright yellow. So there we go, we've got our first layer. Hansen Snowballs are always made in multiple layers. Uh, we put several layers in each, in each snowball. Bananas, there we go, get a few of those. A little, maybe a little extra syrup. And it's very hot and the snowball's very cold. So we're gonna have to eat it very quickly once it's done. And it's starting to melt from the inside thanks to the warm bananas that are in the middle layer and the bananas on the top. So here's our Bananas Foster Snowball made with cream of ice cream syrup.